There are several things that you can break about a game, exploiting mechanics, using unintended behavior that wasn't properly tested in that way, or you just go for bugs. Amas told me that there's a bug in the game where if you click too many times, you get a little bit too many weapons. So let's give this a try. Let's see what happens. We just go in here and as you can see, the shop is open. And what do we want to buy? I would say bone. Well, what do we have up there? A bone and a rune tracer? Huh? Oh, but that is, that is not a normal rune tracer, is it? That is a little bit too much for a rune tracer, isn't it? Huh, that is very interesting. But how could we take this to the next level? I mean, it's nice to have that many weapons, you know, but could we get more? Well, there is a way to get more. And here's a picture of the very first frame of the shop that happens. Well, it matters because if we could somehow make the game lag and queue up a ton of clicks. Okay, enough talk. Let me just show you what I mean. I'm already activating the auto clicker. Okay, do you see that? Ooh, I'm not doing anything. How do I get out again? I have to deactivate it. Let's go over here. This is roughly, I think, where Laurel is. Then we go into the game. As you can see, it's clicking on nothing. And do you see the lag? Yeah, I'm still on the stage selection, but we can hear... Ouch! That something happened. Okay. So, now I'm free to choose that. Okay, now which weapon do we get? Oh, center water with Gatia Mari. That is a nice one. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that is, that is, that is a lot, isn't it? That, that is, I think a bit more, I think a little bit more than what we had previously. Just a teeny tiny bit more, you know. Now we can attempt to take this a step further. So I'll go there again. But why would you only use one auto clicker, right? Like it's great if one auto clicker can click 1000 times a second, for example, but why not use more? So let me activate both of them. <laughs> oh my God, the game is already lagging like crazy. <laughs> I can't click. Uh, okay, I'm spamming space bar. There we go. Okay. Let's just see what happens. I'm still in the stage selection. Compare this to what we had previously. Okay. Um. I think I will need to skip this part because this seems to take some time. Okay, so interestingly enough, the result was a lot worse. That means the secret is not just clicking a lot, right? Now note, I also used multiple auto clickers and the only thing that happened is that the game took three minutes to load into the stage and then it would just buy a couple of weapons. It wasn't a lot. But I would like you to pay attention to a following testing list that I made. Here we have it. As you can see, these are all the weapons that I got as secondary weapons. So if we pick Victory Sword, we got Pijone. And you will notice a trend that these are always the same weapons, more or less. Whip, Magic Wand, Cross, Gatia Mari, King Bible. Uh, I think there's Pijone as well and Ebony Wings, exactly. Santa Water. But... That's also it. I got your Mari is also in there, but that's it, you know, no special weapons really. The reason why I click before we even get on the stage is quite simple. If I do it just here, then it doesn't work as good. Like, take a look at this, for example. We have now a bunch of center waters, which is nice, but that's not a lot. And even if I combine both of the auto clickers together, uh, let's do this for the lightning wing, for example. And there we go. There you can see, it doesn't really look better. This number here varies a lot from try to try, but how about we just try to get one going, where I select the starting weapon here from the left side, and then we just see what we get alongside with it. So how about we play a couple of rounds with these different weapons and just check out what it's like to have so many of the- oh my god that is loud. Okay, I think that's a little bit more than what we had previously, but we can't see it. So the weapons, they behave a little bit different because we are technically not supposed to have them. We go beyond the limit and the game doesn't allow you to have duplicates. And yes, by that I mean actual duplicates up here, okay? I'm not talking about you got Vandalier and then you got Ebony Wings again, like if you start with Smith. That is a whole different story. Wait, how will I survive here? Oh, oh wow. I didn't expect this to become a problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, because the way I survived the previously was by upgrading center water. But do you see center water here anywhere? Me neither. Okay. Well, uh, that's weird. Okay, I think we gotta go for a different weapon. I haven't entirely given up. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, this will be bad. Let's do it. So one thing that you need to understand is... 
The projectile limit that is currently in the game, you know, it limits all the projectiles that a weapon can have. So, for example, a death spiral can only have X amount of projectiles and then it doesn't spawn anymore. Now, in our case, though, these count as individual weapons, so each of these have their own projectile count. I honestly can't believe I have that many center waters around and I still can't do it. That is a joke. Okay, I gotta be absolutely honest with you. This is going horribly. <laughs> I can't upgrade them. They just stay this bad. However, they supposedly get limit break upgrades and that is amazing, right? So we can still bump them up. The higher we go, the better this becomes pretty much. But, oh my god, did you see how the boss got nuked? Uh, what happens if I open the chest? Okay, it gives us just an item. That is understandable, I guess. Yeah, no, no. I think I'm at a point where I can easily survive this. Hopefully. Let me just walk through here. And there we go. More Taruna. I would like to max this out ASAP. That we get more kills. And therefore more experience. Oh my god, this is so laggy. I don't want to see what happens once we start getting a mount. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we got Toruna in. That is good. Ah, uh, well, uh, more or less. Okay, we are maxed out. Now, the next question is this one. It's not the first time that I had duplicate weapons, though I think that time it was only a couple. And when I did one upgrade for one weapon, it applied to all of them. But I never figured out, does it just visually show that, or does it actually apply to all of them? We can test this by going for area and seeing if just one of them is bigger or all of them. Um, oh. Wait, I think... I think that actually looks like all of them got bigger, right? Like, if you look at the bottle sizes... Oh, okay. One amount? Let's see if that changes. Like, if you only see one... Uh-oh. No, 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 wait a second. Only one of them is going off, right? Of the cycle of the others. Um... I think yes. That is very interesting. But it could also be that just one of them has the upgrade that resets it, but all the other ones also get the bonuses. I don't know. Let me get that. There we go. Or duration? No, it won't show it that well. Area. More area. Are you noticing that the game is a little bit laggy? J just a little bit. It doesn't look like we have any size differences. Or... Like, there's one that is off-cycle, for sure. Like, you see it going down there, it does its own thing. But I don't see a big difference between them. Let me just go for random always and see what happens. And uh, there we go. Because at one point, eventually, we should have some of them that are fairly large and others that are tiny if they don't stay the same. As in, if the limit break doesn't apply to all of them. Oh, careful. Okay, so here's my belief. It doesn't look like it applies to all of them. I could be wrong though. Those that go off the cycle that the others have are always the ones that get a mount. But this is no indicator for me that they are wrong, just that they got reset. However, I don't really see the growth that we would use. Well, we are only level 85, right? Yeah, let's wait a little bit. Let's get to higher levels and see what it looks like. Well, you know, assuming the game doesn't crash. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, what? No, what I, I want to say something else. Do you see the damage differences that we have? Like, some of them deal 60, and others only deal 12. Well, I guess that kind of solves it already, right? That tells us that the one that is going around here is probably the one that gets all the upgrades, while the others, they just follow along, but they stay at level 1, right? So it's only this one in particular here that gets all the limit break stats, and all the other ones, they're this big bunch here. Yeah, like, you can see when they walk into this big puddle, they start taking only 10 damage. Looks like that is uh, maybe the base damage of Center Water level 1. Interesting. Nah, you know, Center Water is fun and giggles, but we can see here the ginormous difference. Yeah, wait, if we go back, we'll see that was the one that did all the damage. And we can see it up here even that only this one got all the limit breaks applied, and the other ones, they got nothing. How many pages are there? Oh my god, it still keeps going. <laughs> Wait, what? There we go. 1.9 million. So I would like to change up something, which is using golden eggs. We saw that the amounts, that etc. that we have applied to them, but I can't lower the golden eggs that I have on trouser. So this is what we have to deal with. Okay, we have rune tracer. This is not a good one to have. 
<laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, this is, um, this will be interesting. Sculomaniac, there we go. Uh, I don't think we need Duplicator, gotta be honest. Do we need Razor? Sure. Because why don't make it worse than it already is? Wait, that doesn't help us at all. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we are maxed out. Oh, can you evolve them? Oh, I wanna check that out. Because that could maybe... Well, no. You should only be able to evolve one of them, right? If it even works once. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I have a wide rectangle. Uh, don't walk around. Okay, don't walk around. Okay, I will walk around for a moment. Because I want to have to curse items. Uh, where are they? To my right, here. Okay, something is really weird. I mean, maybe I really just pass it always, but I don't get them. Usually if you're on the same line as them, you will eventually pick them up, but I'm not picking them up. It almost looks as if I can't pick up stage items anymore. Like before you say, oh yeah, that's because you have so much movement speed right now. I tested this a while ago with 100,000 movement speed, and I still managed to pick up stuff. Because of the lag, the game slows down so much that it's actually relatively easy to do it. Um, but it, it doesn't look like it allows me to. Oh, I got it. Oh my, okay, okay, okay. Wow. Oh, okay, that is insane. Oh my god. Okay, I understand what's going on. You have to land spot on on it and then stand still. It took like, I think, three seconds or so for me to pick it up despite standing on it. Wow. Okay, that is hard. If you want to know how it looks like, yeah, this is what it looks like. I really just want to pick up one evolution chest and see what happens. Funny enough, we can actually see most of the rune tracers. Do you see that? They are tiny. It's just this one here that gets all the limit break stats that completely breaks. Hold on, we are 10 minutes. Uh, where's the chest? Uh, great, there are a bunch of them. I don't know which one is the chest. Oh, this will be fun. There we go. Okay, it doesn't show an evolution, but that doesn't mean anything because we don't know if this was the minute 10 chest or another one. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And again, no evolutions. And the thing is, I don't know <laughs> if it can't evolve or if I just always got the wrong chests. Okay, this is the final one. I don't see evolutions in there. Okay. So looking at this, I think it's safe to say that we can't evolve the weapon that we have. It should go to no future. It didn't. I'm not gonna wait for the arcana. The thing is, we won't see a difference, but I would assume, given the stats and what we have seen here, the base stats definitely do apply of the character, but the weapon itself just doesn't change except for the main one. Now, there's one more thing that I want to try, which is multi-buying out of this chest here. Uh, we have Cherry Bomb here. Let's... Oh, it did work. Now, oh, our cooldown reduction went back down. As you can see, I have Silent Old Sanctuary, but it did go back down to 30%, which is the base value of this character, so the game does consider these weapons as filling out the slots. But it also doesn't do anything wonky like giving us positive cooldown reduction, like it reverts back over. Okay. Oh my god, we got the lightning ring. I wanted to try this one just to see what it's like, if it works or not, on this character. Empty Tome- oh my god, we have so many. Empty Tome should be very important. We do know that Lightning Ring is a little bit critical, where the enemies just run you over and you will die. So I kinda just want to see what happens, if we can make it work. Empty Tome yet again, very good. We have to get that up ASAP. And the amazing part is we have so many Lightning Strikes here. Okay, Crown. Now the problem is, because I have to do this while the shop is already opened, I can't accumulate lag. The more your game lags, the better pretty much this becomes and the more you can buy. That means several people doing identical things will have different results. Ooh, this is evil. I guess at least I survived, that is a good thing. I guess I want to have Ken Labrador? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, I do have Ken Labrador, but it's really ironic. I have so many rings, and sure, I can't upgrade them, but you would expect that this is enough to just save me? Uh, no, I already died. Okay, can Labrador? Maybe I should have went for some bonus damage. Uh, let's actually check this out. I don't think the lightning ring does a lot of damage. Well, I saw 20 there. Yeah, all of these are 20. It should actually be decent, like enough to kill them. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
This is hilarious. How are you so bad? And by the way, for me, Laurel didn't ran them into Lightning Ring. Otherwise, I would just go for Laurel. But I think it only gave Center Water and uh, something else. I don't even know what the other thing was. Oh, this is not good. The only good part is I can somewhat take away information from the Limit Break videos that I did on what you have to do that you survive. But we can't upgrade the Lightning Ring. That is a very, very big downside. But we can freeze. <laughs> you can always freeze. And that's what we'll do to survive here, because this is my last revival, and... Oh, there's one. Very nice. There we go. Good night. Now I just have to find some food. Oh, I just randomly picked up another freeze. Didn't want to do that. Okay. At least I have an NFT. Oh, there was a lot of experience somewhere. That is great. More food? Okay. Keep in mind, we still have one revival. Oh, no. 100% more curse. This is fine. This is fine. Don't worry. Okay, NFT. Very good timing. Now we get to limit break. It's kind of ridiculous. The one thing that doesn't really make sense to me is... Why does everything go into one individual lightning ring? But, you know, we have multiple offers here. These are from different lightning rings. I guess that is just how the code processes the selection that you do. So, it always ends up in the same lightning ring. But it's kind of funny. Well, okay. Random always. It actually feels really weird that this is just as difficult, like literally the same, if not even slightly worse, than the video on Lightning Ring only. Like I literally had to do exactly the same things, get NFTs for curse, get freezes to survive, and all of that stuff. It's really weird. And we also have Cherry Bomb, you know. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm dying. Well, I think in general, there was a lot of fun and you could experiment around with it. But since the limit break stats don't apply to the other weapons, I don't know.